Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray. Star Wars The Force Awakens is out and people are posting spoilers as if they own the internet. If you've not watched the movie yet, I feel so sorry for you. And also if you haven't, why are you watching this video? This video will contain spoilers so go away, watch the movie and come back! I've already posted my review on Star Wars The Force Awakens, which you can watch by clicking the annotation or going to the link in the description. But I've recently seen the movie for a second time and I thought I'd make a top 5 list of my favourite moments from the movie, as well as my top 5 worst moments too, so look out for that video as well. No doubt some of you may disagree with my list, but that's just what the comments are for, so feel free to post your top 5 moments as well in the comment section. Just don't forget to add a spoiler tag at the beginning of your comments because some people just end up lurking down there accidentally and oh, they, they, they don't want to be ruined. Come on, be nice people. So here are my top five. Number five, Jedi Mind Trick. Whilst I might agree with some people where they say that this scene felt a little too quick for Rey to test her powers, you have to admit it was very well performed. Rey knows about the Jedi, she knows what they can do and is a quick learner to realise you must be calm and collective for your force powers to work the way you want them to. For the light side, anyway. The first two times she attempted to trick the stormtrooper into freeing her, she was scared, terrified even. She was taking a massive risk, and then she realised what she had to do. In turn, it not only created a scene that allowed you to see Rey grow as a Force user, but created a rather comical scene too. It's these scenes that show exactly what Star Wars is about. The comedy within the thrill, not standing around talking blah blah blah, Senate stuff, blah blah blah. Number 4. The Millennium Falcon so it's 30 minutes into the movie and all we've seen is nothing but new characters and right off the bat, Rey, Finn and BB-8 are being hunted down by stormtroopers and TIE fighters. The scene is intense and the interesting thing about it is that just before the big Millennium Falcon reveal, you can actually see it when the camera pans. Just barely, but you can, and it doesn't make a big deal out of it right away. Of course, when Finn points out to it, Rey makes it seem like it's just nothing, it's just a piece of scrap, until the camera pans and you you have the upbeat music and the glorious shot of it that you just can't help but get excited about. And when Rey is flying it, it might make super fans angry to see some new girl flying it, but to see her flying for the first time is exciting. It feels fresh as we've only ever seen experts fly. Sorry, experts. So it's just a welcome scene to me. Number three, Han Solo dies. Now don't get any ideas in thinking I was glad to see Han Solo die. That wasn't the case at all. What I absolutely loved about this scene is that even though it built up to it and you knew it was going to happen, it gave you that small hope of, well, maybe Kylo really won't kill Han. And when he does, it's almost like you're feeling the lightsaber piercing through you also. When I watched the scene for the first time, I couldn't move, even though I knew it was going to happen. All I could do was sit there breathing incredibly heavy as I watched him fall into the core of the planet, never to be seen again. As far as we know anyway, though I'm not sure how they could bring Han Solo back. But then, it is Star Wars, who knows? Number 2, Kylo vs Rey Now let's be honest here, the fight between Kylo and Finn was pretty good in its own right, but I don't think anything could compare to the battle between Kylo and Rey. The battle didn't go on for too long and it wasn't too short. It was incredibly well choreographed in the sense it didn't feel choreographed. The pair didn't move at around a thousand miles an hour like they would in the prequels, but also didn't move as slow as they did in the originals. The battle was nothing but perfection and now exactly how lightsaber battles should be, unlike Yoda doing his thousand flips in ten seconds. The best part is, Rey can only get better with time and there's no doubt Kylo will be doing everything in his power to be even more powerful with a lightsaber, which will hopefully lead to some truly incredible fights. Number 1 Rey grabs the lightsaber. I mentioned this in my review, so you might have expected this from me, but even when watching the movie for a second time, I can't help but feel the sense of awe when Kylo is trying to pick up Anakin's lightsaber and it flies past him and lands in Rey's hand. There's something about it that just makes me realise how perfect of a character Rey is. This movie was the story of Rey. Sure, it contains Finn's story and a little bit of Poe's, but the movie was about Rey and JJ wanted you to know that. 
The violence and the score, when she catches it, makes you melt inside. And I'll have to be honest, I think this shot is perfect. It literally couldn't have been done better. It might have lasted 10 seconds or so, but whenever I watch this movie again, I'll always anticipate this small moment. So, what was your favourite moment from the film? Post them in the comment section, and while you're down there, press subscribe, okay? The channel grows from your support, and while you're down there, maybe press the like button too? I mean, you don't have to, but, you know, just, just press it, yeah? Thanks for watching, and look out for my five top worst moments from the movie. With great moments come unfortunate mishaps. I'll see you next time, and a farewell to you. The Force, it's calling to you. Just let it in.